Hello there. So, as I can see in right now, there are not any viewers. Um, so, instead I'm gonna just talk about uh, my stream ideas, um, the changes of my stream in the future, and um, why I'm streaming right now to a different YouTube channel uh, for the people who are watching the VOD. So, um, I'm streaming to a different YouTube channel because I have seen that a lot of people have been unsubscribing to, uh, from my main channel because I've been streaming a lot. Like I specifically saw um, people unsubscribing on the VODs of my streams on YouTube. So, um, and also what I'm assuming is that also a lot of people are disabling notifications for my channel. Um, <clears throat> because they don't want to see noti notifications of me going live all the time. And I think that you cannot specifically um, set it so you get notifications for videos, like tutorial videos and stuff like that, but not for streams. So, yeah. <clears throat> and I did a poll on the community tab on YouTube, and even though the majority said that no changes are really needed. Um, there were a couple of people who did say that I should stream on a different YouTube channel. Um, or just stream on Twitch exclusively. So th this here is a test. Um, to see if I want to do it like that. Um... It is a bit um, difficult to to like to wage the the, the pros and cons between each other. Um, and I did make a list for that, and all in all, it I think it would be more beneficial for me if I don't stream on my main channel anymore. But yeah. Right now I see I don't have any viewers, that's not so great, but oh well, um, in my past drawing streams, um, for some reason I thought that they heard some meowing, but I guess it just, something in the song sounded like that, oh well, um, anyways. Where was I? That distracted me now. Yeah, pros and cons. So I think that it is more beneficial beneficial for me if I stopped streaming on my main channel, so... Not all of my subscribers are running away. I mean, not all of them will anyways, but still. The focus on my main channel should be streams. Uh, not streams. <laughs> tutorials and you know other kinds of videos like time-lapse videos and some other stuff that I'm thinking about in the future and yeah so we'll keep it separate like that it that does mean that there is now uh, significantly less viewers on my drawing streams right now it's just unavoidable but it will change over time I will probably make some bigger announcement that I stream on a different channel and that people can follow me there and stuff like that and so yeah <clears throat> they can not get notifications from my streams if they f uh, have that on over there and you know still probably gonna mean that I'm gonna have less viewers all in all but okay I'm a little bit surprised that I have no viewers right now because during my gaming stream there were a significant number on my Twitch channel, so well, 
uh, maybe people are just less interested in drawing streams than in gaming streams i don't know but anyways i'm still gonna keep on going so i'm also gonna talk about what this uh, the plan for today's stream is gonna be i have here a little example of a drawing that i did kind of just to test it uh, how i would do um and the palette up there the five colors and you can't fit and see the fifth color because it's white but yeah there's also white um this palette was randomized there's a specific website for that i mean there are probably some others too like that and um I got this randomized palette uh, from that website and just drew this. And it is a nice little challenge because you get a palette and you have to think of something to draw. Um, so I got this palette here for example and I saw um, like these two colors, this blue and this kind of like um, darker yellow that is kind of like very much brass like and so this color reminded me more of metal and this color is like was very um, good for drawing the earth not well not the earth but just some planet I guess it, it wasn't very accurate about the the continents so yeah it's just some land blobs <laughs> And I did this drawing in, in a very short amount of time because this is also the point I'm not spending all too much time on the individual drawings. Also to practice drawing a bit faster. And yeah, I'm gonna... I mean, to show you other examples, I here have the flamingo. Um... I got these colors, I got this pink and therefore a photo of flamingo and just used the other colors kind of in a mixed up variety to draw this little drink. I don't know, <laughs> just was some weird idea. That's also the point, to come up with weird ideas and creative stuff. This is, I mean, this here is a bit less creative I would suppose, it's just... I had this blue and this purple, so glass and kind of a poison color so yeah pretty straightforward and this was the first one that i did i had this pink and a bunch of blue so yeah blue for the water and pink for cherry blossoms and sure so i am going to open this website now here we have it, and the way it works is you enter a specific keyword, which can also be several words. Um, it doesn't have to be just one word. Or you can upload an image or a specific color and you will gr um, generate a random color palette. As you can see down here. Um, and the plan is that I will take one of the first three color palettes and draw something with, the, uh, with that. Um, <clears throat> so I am not allowed to click on regenerate. I have to take one of those three. Except all of them are just some kind of grayscales and there is nothing interesting going on. Then I would regenerate. But the probability for that is rather low. Especially if they're like very creative kind of keywords. So what I'm thinking is also the keywords seem to be kind of related. Uh, well, the color palettes that are generated from those keywords are kind of related. So if I... Enter cherry blossom. Then I'm most likely gonna get some pink, as you can see here. All of these color palettes have some some variation of pink in them. 
But I don't exactly know how it works. Maybe it does some kind of Google image search and picks out colors from a couple of those images. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah. So you can. Uh, it is possible to kind of influence the color th uh, this way. I mean, if I straight up um, enter a color name in there, so then yeah, it's. it's Oh, well, the first one doesn't really have all that much orange in it, all things considered. But yeah, uh, a lot of these palettes do have orange in them. But it's still kind of randomized, so what you can set is also... Um, well, I want to start with only complementary colors, color sets. This is also the way how I did it for those drawings that I sh just showed. Um, so, with, uh, so complementary colors means there are basically two main colors which are complementary from each other. So they are like on the opposite sides of the color wheel of the complementary color wheel, which is different from the color wheel that you see over there. Um, for example, um, you know, it is common, for example, like red and green are complementary colors, but they are not on the opposite sides of each other, so, yeah. <laughs> um, and then there are some other um, choices, like analog, uh, analogous colors, means that they are very close to each other on the color wheel. Um, although the colors still seem very scattered, all things considered, so... Um, they should be very close to each other in terms of hue, but apparently it's... I it, it mean, it's... it's um, it is random. If I, yeah, it depends on the variance that I have. So if I have 100 variants and it's just all over the place. If I have only 10, then the, the colors are very close to each other, as you can see. Um, so I, I just like to have some variance and set it to 50. So... It is still very randomized, but not too much, so it still has something to do with the, the keyword. And my plan was also that you were able to influence um, the colors that I get by suggesting keywords. Well, not, right now there is nobody here, so I guess I have to come up with something. But, yeah. I mean... It, when somebody comes here, I can ask them. So... That's basically the plan. So, what am I... I'm a... Well... Let's just type in Hoko and see what comes out. <laughs> Hoko, the name of my cat. Let's see what kind of results we will get from that. Oh, okay. Very green. Interesting. Hmm. So we have the first three over here. Hmm. And now I have to think of some kind of ideas that I would have for the different color palettes. Um, the most colorful one would be number three. But I don't necessarily want to go for the most colorful ones all the time. Number two is kind of mm, the black, the black and this like dark blue. I think are very close to each other. 
The first one could be interesting. Hmm. The first one does not have the, the greens. This is very strongly saturated. <gasps> saturated green, sorry. Also, I ate just shortly before the stream because I had to get something into my stomach. Uh. <sighs> hmm. Number three or one, I would say. So the number one is like kind of a bit more mild. Well, the thing I don't exactly like about number one is that there it's just very strongly based on blue and red. And I don't like that color combination. Blue and red is, is, is to me, doesn't look good. It's not neither complementary nor analogous. It's just, in terms of color theory, actually a very bad color co combination. But you see it all over the place, especially in America. Um, so maybe number three, we have kind of like a orange, then we have the red, a blue and green. So they, these are very widely sp scattered all across the spectrum. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe something flower related. So I'm basically splitting it up into two sets where I have. I also shouldn't forget that I have the white, but yeah, um, I have the orange and red, so those are the warm colors, and then I have the blue and green, which are in more the cooler colors. And I don't want to have them half half. I kind of want to have like either a very cool looking um, picture with some accent colors in the more warmer. Um, one direction or the other way around. Uh, so with the blue and green I could make something flora related. Some plants. And the orange and the red could maybe be some kind of flowers. Hmm. I mean, this is the idea that I have right now, so let's go for it. Let's not think too long about this. So I'm saving it. So normally I also would open the palette and share the link in the chat so that you can draw along. Uh, I mean I'm still gonna do this over here. Uh, in case somebody drops in very soon. But yeah, so we have the color palette. I'm just gonna make a new folder and import the color palette right in goes pretty quick there we go create a bunch of uh, layers and there we go we have the first color palette of today I did not expect to get that kind of col um, color palette from the keyword hoko but all right here we are so, and then I'm just gonna start drawing. So, hmm. Hmm. 
My idea is that the, uh, maybe I use the blue for kind of the trees like that and the green for the for some leaves, some grass, stuff like that. Bushes. But the problem is also I need to think of some kind of background color too. Just leaving the background white could work, but mm, in this case it would be nice to have black at least. Now, <clears throat> one rule that I I want to have for myself, like one thing that I want to have for myself is that if the color palette is not quite enough for the idea that I have, then I'm, at least I'm allowed to add black and white. To it. So I'm thinking about just simply adding black as the background color. And then drawing on top of that. So let's see. What kind of shape do I want to give it? Also, by the way, last stream I had a, um, some problems with my pen, uh, with the not not the pen, but the drawing tablet that I'm using. The touch function just completely gave up and freaked out. So yeah, it is now permanently turned off. It's not usable anymore. I mean, it was a matter of time until it gives up. Considering how uh, how damaged my drawing tablet is, so yeah. Oh well, <clears throat> it, I mean it works. I am very quickly getting used to just use the pen and do the zooming and moving with with it, and also turning. Also, I found out that by just double tapping while you're in the rotate mode. You can reset it, but that's useful. So... The red could be, I suppose, some berries in the bushes. That's that would be an idea.
Да, да, вот. filling it out properly there we go as always I forgot to take my vitamins ah uh, my phone is going on the nerves again yeah yeah I'll take them now I just shortly ate well I ate just a short while ago I should take them now. It is recommended to take them after you ate. I wonder why they smell like old people, those pills. Or maybe old people smell like that because of pills. I don't know. Then I'm just simply using some of the other colors for giving everything a bit more shape. I tend to always leave some tiny gap in between because you know it makes it it's kind of basically just a style choice it doesn't matter all too much idea is that I bring in some trees in between and they're just gonna grow straight up and go over like beyond this background here Let's get more stabilization taller actually to go all the way up to this point here
let's cut them off at at least somewhat the same height There are some trees a bit further back, so they appear thinner. Would be nice if I had a, another shade of blue. But those are all the colors that we have, so... Just how it is. I'm just gonna do it like this. You know what, I'm gonna make all of them again. So I can align everything much neater. Actually, I want to have the, the ones that are further away to be cut off at a different height. I think that would be a nice effect. Because then also can do this here. So I want to leave a tiny gap in between. Well actually no, I'm just gonna let it touch straight away. Straight up. Another height level which is gonna be really thin trees
And now, let's just simply fill out everything. Just trying to make sure that the bottoms at the bottom they are closed that I can easily fill everything in. I'm sure there's a better way, but... Oh well. The problem with the fill tool is that you need to adjust it always. Color margin that is. Because it depends on the different colors and it's just that. Uh... Hey there, Quiet Leap. What are you doing? You are Laluda, right? If I remember correctly. Sorry, I got a notification. Sound of WhatsApp, and I should have that closed, of course. Do -do 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 -do. Yep, all right, I got it right. <laughs> it seems like you found the stream on the other YouTube channel now. That's good. <sighs> So, to explain it for you particularly, because um, there was nobody else watching, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm drawing something with a randomized color palette. So what I did was, I went to this website here, it should open up, and I go back again. Uh, let's try this again. Hello? There we go. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> so I'm using this website here that gives me a randomized palette and it is based on keywords. On other things too, but we, but we are only using keywords. And I just typed in Hoko as the first word that came into my mind and I don't exactly how this uh, website works. <sighs> Sorry, I'm burpy. Um, but yeah, when I search like that, it gives me a bunch of randomized palettes. Here are a few that came up. These are not the ones that um, that I had um, when I rolled because they are always newly generated. Like you can go ahead and regenerate them all the time. And what I'm doing is I take one of the first three results. I'm not gonna 
include this one, just one, two, three, and I take one of these and think of something to draw. So, for example, um, I did some test runs with that and I got this palette here by, what was the, wow so much random, <laughs> I just typed in that keyword and came up with this idea. Or this flamingo drawn, I just had the pink and so I came up with that. Or a poison bottle which was more straightforward. Because I had the blue and the purple and it's just like, yeah, poison bottle. Let's go with that. And then I also had this one here, this was the first one. And this one I liked the least, but... Yeah, it was also pretty straightforward. Blues for water and uh, pink for cherry blossoms. And right now I am drawing this here. Um, kind of like a forest theme that had this palette here um, and one rule that I have is if I am not satisfied enough or if the colors are not enough for me that I'm allowed to include white or black as an additional color to the five colors that I get and so I already got white and white is kind of like a whatever color. You, I mean, you have it already in a normal background. So I included black so they had something behind the trees. So th these are gonna um, gonna be trees. Um, I will include some white um, texture on them to make them kind of look like birch trees. Then green bushes down below and I'm probably just gonna put in some berries here and there and that's gonna be it it's not the most creative idea I think but I'm also getting used to this and to this kind of challenge <clears throat> you ought to try it sometime well another idea is well there are two things that you can do during this stream first one is you can give me suggestions for keywords to use um, to generate random color palettes um, and if there would be more than just one viewer then I would put them all into a list and, uh, and randomly pick out one of the keywords that I got um, and another thing you can do is to simply draw along so at the beginning I pick a random color palette and I can and it should be still yeah so this actually is the color palette that I got so or it is not showing up on YouTube side YouTube chat hello all right, the restream chat is not working, so I'm doing this by hand. Wait, this is actually the wrong chat. Oops, sorry. I need to open it up somewhere else. I had the wrong YouTube chat open. You got the link, yeah. I just looked at the wrong chat and of course it didn't show up over there. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you can also go ahead and take the palette and draw something with it. And this if you use digital media. I mean, you can kind of try to match up the colors with the tra traditional media that you have, with the colors that you have, maybe. I'm not so ex exactly sure, but yeah so you can draw along and what you can also do is um, I made a new channel in discord called stream pictures it's just some channel name that I came up with the, the name might change in the future 
and you can post drawings that you made in there and I, I can show them live on stream. So for example, if you draw something with this palette and you want to show it off, then you can do so. And I would be very interested in what kind of ideas you come up with. So I motivate you to actually come up with a different idea than I. So you get this palette and you're not drawing another forest scene like I am doing, but you come up with a completely different idea. And then later it will be very interesting to see what everybody came up with. So yeah, that's, that's the idea for these kind of streams. Uh, so yeah, if, if you want to, you are more than welcome to draw along. But otherwise, how are you doing? That's an incredible need and probably a very original idea. I haven't seen anybody else uh, come up with this idea. I wouldn't be surprised if um, somebody did already come up with that. I mean, it's not that far-fetched. Um, but yeah, it's, I definitely like this idea. It gives me a much more interactivity with the chat too. Let's see. So I hope you had a nice walk. How has your day day <coughs> again? How has your day been so far? I guess I'm gonna draw some inverted birch trees, <laughs> because normally it's white bark with dark spots. But here we go. Was a nice walk? That's good to hear. I hope you have some kind of greenery around you. Maybe some forests, or if you're in the middle of a city, then maybe some nice parks. I, yeah, my days have been fairly fun of and special. Well, I washed cars with some friends of mine and get some money for a trip. To Amsterdam next year. Oh, interesting. That's very nice. Color and palette website is kind of in the way I can't see it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I need to get used to this still. <laughs> I needed to close this down. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Yeah, it would be nice if you can get enough money to go to Amsterdam. From what I've seen just in pictures and stuff, Amsterdam seems really pretty.
So I personally live also in the middle of the city. But at least here in Vienna you have some decent opportunities to walk in some green in the parks. So that's nice. I also live next to the river. And that certainly makes it a bit more pleasant. But I'm definitely very far away from f actual forests. And actual nature. Never really been uh, much around, so I'm looking forward to it. And of course, hoping that Corona won't get in the way of it. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope so too. I mean, there is progress being made with the vaccines. But, you know, the tests are also taking a while because that's just how it is. You don't want to vac vaccinate all of the people and then f find out that it actually doesn't really work all too well. Or people develop some severe side effects. That certainly would be very counterproductive. And then another problem would be that the general trust in vaccines would shrink too and it complicates things even more oh so yeah better make sure that the vaccine actually works and that takes time so it seem it still seems pretty uncertain when We'll get back to normal. But I hope this whole pandemic situation has been hasn't been too much of a strain on you. Next to the river sounds nice. We got a park in our small town, but I'd have to walk almost five kilometers to get to some actual nature. Hmm. Well, five kilometers at least is not that bad. I would probably have to walk three or four times as much <laughs> to get to some actual nature because I'm like. I'm right in the middle of the city, basically. <sighs> yeah. But as I said, Vienna is is still pretty nice. Got a bunch of parks. Some very large parks too. And they're always nicely tended off. Also, I just now remember that birch trees actually have more horizontal. Um, what what do you say holes? Than what I'm drawing right now, but it doesn't matter. They're their own kind of trees. They're already color inverted, so they can be also direction inverted for the bark, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. 
I can do this a bit quicker. I'm trying to remember, this is your first time that you made it to the to the stream with the new layout, right? So far I've been doing two streams with this new layout and I'm definitely getting more and more used to it for sure. Standing for that much for that long amount of time is getting easier and easier. I know five kilometers isn't much, but I don't generally feel like walking five kilometers to go to an, for an actual walk and then walk five kilometers home. Yeah, I mean, for a walk it's still much, for sure. You would have to be in a mood for a really long walk like that. And yeah, that's, that's a bit much for sure. If you would have maybe some some bicycle or something like that, then it, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, I suppose. That's the downside of living in a city, the nature can be far away sometimes, yeah. For sure. Definitely would like to have some more nature close by, but oh well. Can't be helped. And, well, let's be honest, even if I would have more nature close by, I probably would still stay at home for most of the time. Just... just how I am. Although right now in the pandemic it is a good thing. Let's fill them out. So at the beginning of the stream I also was talking about the changes of my stream and the reasons why I am switching now to a different channel, at least on the YouTube side, on Twitch nothing is changing. And it would be also nice to hear some some feedback from people who are actually watching my streams on a regular basis. I just did a poll on the YouTube tab, uh, community tab on my YouTube uh, channel. And a lot, of, um, a significant amount of people has been saying that they would prefer if I would stream on a different channel and there was a significant amount of people who are basically just simply not interested in the streams which I can understand they're primarily 
subscribe for tutorials those kind of videos and I don't want to spam them and I've seen a lot of people unsubscribing from my channel uh, because of that reason because of the streams and I'm also guessing a lot, a lot of people might have turned off their notifications so they don't get a notification every single time when I go live So, this today is more of a test in a way. Um, I could go back to streaming on my main channel at any point. But considering all the factors, I think it would be better if I... Um, I'm switching like uh, I'm doing it as I do right now so I'm streaming to a different channel on YouTube to keep my main channel more spam free so yeah how is it for you in particular is it maybe kind of bothering you that there is now a different channel that you have to go to if you want to watch my streams. Or does it basically not matter? Or just... Do you get the uh, stream notifications from Discord anyways? Would like to hear some more feedback from people. Although it is like at this point actually pretty certain that I'm gonna switch to a diff to this channel here to, for streaming. Not at all, I go to whichever channel I need to go to watch the content I want to watch. Okay, so it doesn't bother you at all. Yeah, one of the, the, the downside of streaming to this channel now is just simply I have way less viewers, at least at this point. I mean, it was obvious of course. I'm a bit surprised that there is like nothing going on at Twitch side. Because the gaming stream on Thursday went pretty well, and that was only on Twitch, so hmm. I guess people are just simply more interested in games over there. At least in that particular case. But it could also be just, just simply the day. I don't know.
Mm, I think those branches is gonna require a lot of extra detail. Um, let's maybe do it like this. Doesn't work. Oops, oops. Ah, no. Uh, <clears throat> and that means switching between three channels of the same person. I'm glad they do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean. It's not gonna be that many channels, but yeah. Um, and if you're on Discord, then you get the right links, anyways. Ah, uh, yeah. Have you said on your main channel that you removed streams in our channel? I haven't. Well, not all that officially. I have um, said something on the community uh, tab, but you know, not that many people see that. <laughs> um. So I'm thinking about making a short video to explain these changes so that peop some people who are interested in my streams can follow me on um, my secondary YouTube channel. Those people that also don't want to use Twitch, that is. And if you have the chance, like I would recommend to watch on, on Twitch. Also because at some point um there might be a day when i am also gonna stop streaming on youtube altogether so <clears throat> i'm gonna keep on uh, on streaming on youtube for as long as possible so that first of all people have an another alternative to twitch if they don't want to use twitch they are not used to it i don't know and also to have a little bit of discoverability on youtube too so um but the thing is um if i ever want to become partnered or like an affiliate on twitch which means i would get options i would get tools in order to uh, earn more money through twitch people can subscribe and give me like this twitch currency called bits and stuff like that but the problem with that is that um if i would become an affiliate the content that I'm streaming on Twitch has to be Twitch exclusive for 24 hours. Which means I am not allowed to stream at the same time to another uh, platform like YouTube. I can upload the, the stream VODs um, on YouTube 24 hours later, but that's about it. It sounds ideal to make that short video. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be the best. I mean, it's just a short video. It shouldn't bother people all too much. It's not like everybody is gonna be unsubscribed because I made some kind of announcement video that would be new. <laughs> um. Um. But yeah. I've been on the wrong layer, of course. There we go. Um, but yeah, it would inform people and there would be hopefully more people following me on the other um, YouTube channel and also maybe on Twitch. And it would inform everybody about the reasons why I'm doing this kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm not so sure when I would like I would want to become a Twitch affiliate, because the thing is, 
if people want to support me there is the option to donate to me and that does, doesn't have anything to do with twitch it is just a different kind of link altogether and it doesn't require me to be an affiliate um, what it would do uh, is to give me the option to also uh, offer people subscriptions and with that those subscriptions they could post uh, emotes in my chat like they, we could have some emotes from the discord server on twitch for example you know but this is also kind of a a uh, idea that i have that at some point the emotes that i made could also be used on the stream well, I do have uh, a Twitch account, I just rarely ever use it, so if you do move your streams there exclusively, I do hope on Twitch. I see. Okay. Um. It's also good to know. Just gonna use a little trick to better distinguish those branches from the trees in the background. But later I will turn it off. So I set the layer to multiply, and later I will set it back and use different tricks to distinguish those branches. iPad is off battery. <laughs> you can't draw along? Oh, that's too bad. Well, if you charge it now, then you might be able to draw along with the later drawings. If at that point you're still able to stick around, that is. gonna add a few of these branches because it's a lot of detail work right now and I don't want to overdo it those pictures should stay relatively simple and quick to do Also one thing that probably will make me a bit more hesitant to become a Twitch affiliate or at least wait a bit longer is um, so Twitch made some weird changes or they are about to make weird new changes they just recently did some kind of test run for mid-roll um, ads so on Twitch you have, if you are an affiliate or partner, then you are able to run ads during your stream at any point that you want and you get revenue from that. Um, which is not all that much and barely anybody does it. But yeah, 
and Twitch now is apparently testing or it has been testing um, mid-roll um, ads that the streamer cannot really control so they are just run at any point if the streamer hasn't run ads by themselves uh, for a certain amount of time and that pissed off a lot of people <laughs> Um, the lashback could be strong enough right now, so they are not gonna do it, but you don't really know. It might be some kind of executive decision by Amazon itself, Twitch doesn't really have a, a saying in that, I don't know. Uh, the drawing is very neat and nice, I love the simplicity and the way you've gone about this ballot. Oh, thank you. I mean, I think the 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 green of the bushes and the, the and the color of the trees doesn't go well with each other. All uh, like the berries are also not really sticking out well enough, but I could I could help them out a bit with white. I think. Yeah, that's an odd concept. Yeah, for sure. Oh, hey, Plip. <laughs> hey there. How are you doing? How was your stream? I'm glad to see you here. To explain what I've been doing, so right now I oops I've been drawing a picture with a randomized palette. So you here you see the palette um, and I'm using a website right here it's, and it's again not properly showing up so here there we go <laughs> um, the, this website enables me to generate a color palette with some um, keyword uh, there are other options too but we're just mainly using keywords oh hey there cat how are you doing Aiming, yeah, it was good, real chill. We put the sleeves on my blouse, so it's finally looking like an actual garment. Oh, that's awesome. Um, you sh uh, everybody here who is not coming from Plip, you should ch definitely check out her stream. It's real chill and she is doing a lot of sewing. She recently got an embroidery machine. Um, I don't know much about that sort of stuff. Um, but I guess it works kind of like a printer, I suppose, but with thread. <laughs> uh, she showed off a bunch of like test runs and it looked really, really good. So even I would like to have something like that. <laughs> but um, I imagine it's not quite cheap. Um, you're doing good? That's great to hear. I know you're saying, uh, apparently your sister's birthday is going to be later in the day, so I can pop in and say hello, oh, alright. Well, it's nice to see you here, and I hope that your sister is gonna have a nice birthday. Your sister and um, cousin, you said, right? <laughs> Flip says, yeah, it's basically like the printer with red. <laughs> it's uh, really good for doing details like faces on soft toys or lettering. Yeah, exactly. I've seen that on her stream and looks really great. Um, I didn't even actually know that something like that existed, but if I would have thought about it more, then I could have guessed <laughs> that, you know, something. Like, how else would. Uh, people do it by hand all the time that would take way too long <laughs> uh, yeah so to explain a bit further what I'm doing right now so I'm using this website you can type in a, a keyword and then somehow I don't know exactly how this website works but this website uh, gives um, some randomized color palettes based on this keyword and it's roughly uh, related to the keyword so for example let's make it very obvious 
I type in orange and then it's very likely that you have orange in your palette. Now there is some variance and I set it to 50 so it's pretty high so you have a lot of variety in your color palettes which is good, this gives me more options. But if you lower the variance and regenerate, yeah, you just basically have the colors of an orange. Um, and the idea for this kind of stream is that um, I get these color palettes and I only look at the first three right here and I take one of them and think of a picture idea, drawing idea and I then I simply draw it and I don't spend too much time on this idea so um, I'm, I should be pretty soon done with this drawing here and what you can do is first of all you can give me suggestions uh, for keywords you can write them in the chat and I will collect all of them and uh, pick a random winner out of these out of this list of keywords and I will type it in and we'll see what we'll get so you can kind of influence what kind of uh, what colors I will get and another thing you can do is um, I post the color palette uh, in chat so for example this here is the color palette that I'm using right now and if you're using digital uh, tools for drawing then you can use this color palette and draw your own drawing you, and um, make something with your own idea so I highly actually um, I highly uh, motivate you to do something else than I do so for example for this palette here you could um, draw something very different from this forest scene that I'm doing right now. Hoko, did you wake up? Meow meow. <laughs> what are you doing here? Um, and so you can draw along during the stream. And if you want to, you can also show me uh, what you came up with and show me your results. Um, either by sending me a tweet, there is um, a Twitter over here. Um, on the YouTube side, it's not working. As always, Nightbot is just, just doing whatever. Oh, now it's working. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, uh, so you can send me a tweet. You just have to let me know because I'm not getting really any notifications. I haven't set it up like that. Uh, or you can join my Discord server. And I have made a, an extra channel just today, just before the stream, uh, the Stream Pictures channel, where you can also post pictures that you want to be shown during the, during the stream. And this would be perfect for showing your ideas that you came up with with these random color palettes. <laughs> kitty, kitty, yay! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You have a lot of fans, hmm? That's great, isn't it? We don't care. No. You just want snuggles. <laughs> <clears throat> you have your own. You had your own problems with Nightbot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, on the Twitch side, Nightbot is working just fine most of the time. But on YouTube, it's just if and if it works, it's normally with a huge delay. So mm. uh, it's certainly a pain. So by the way, I'm actually st streaming to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time right now. I am not a Twitch affiliate, so I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> Let's see for how long it's gonna stay like that. Oh. 
Yum yum. Need to have the kitty centered, of course. Uh, yeah, well, I can turn this off here. And yeah, so I basically explained how this works. I'm just gonna finish this drawing here and I would like to start the next round. So you can already think of some ideas for keywords. It doesn't have to be just one keyword, it can be several words. I don't know what the character limit is for that website. So better not make it all too long. And when the time comes, you can give me your ideas. <clears throat> all right, moving to the iPads charger up to the next to my laptop. <laughs> Let's hope the cable can reach, yeah. Let's hope so, so you can also draw along. Tip says, the forest is looking really cool. Uh, do you find working with a limited color palette encourage you to be more creative? Uh, it is certainly different and you could say so. I mean, I just recently started with this idea. I just did a, hey, I can also show this off. So I did a bunch of test drawings to test this kind of idea and see how well I'm doing. So I had this color palette here, including white, it's not showing off properly, but there are always five colors. And I had this idea because I looked at those two colors, uh, the blue and this darker yellow, and I thought of the yellow, it looks kind of like brass in a way. And the blue, it was perfect for some kind of habitable planet, and so I came up with this idea. Um, then this palette here had a pink, and I just thought of flamingos and came up with that idea. I guess the flamingo wants to keep its nice pink color, but there aren't... What are they normally eating? Some kind of shrimp? for getting that color and maybe the shrimps are just not around where it lives so it needs to drink some <laughs> some pink drink to keep its color then also a more straightforward idea i had this color palette with a blue and purple and so yeah, blue for some kind of glass bottle and purple for poison. All of these drawings, by the way, were done very quickly, like around half an hour or less, normally. Um, and this was the first one that I did. So I had a bunch of blue, so yeah, blue, water, and pink for cherry blossoms and came up with that and yeah. And this is the one that I'm working right now. <laughs> we love it. Style is so clean. Um, thank you. Um, it's, I'm actually not really all that much used to that kind of style. Um, so it's pretty new to me to draw this way. And you know... The, the point of it is that it gives me a challenge and um, it makes me think in different ways of how I make pictures and um, I would say one neat way to kind of like improve your skills would be thank you Plip for the follow <laughs> that stopped me a little bit <laughs> Um, one way to kind of challenge yourself um, and maybe improve your drawing skills would be to actually reduce the, the tools that you have and use a limited color palette or just only particular tools like Especially with digital media, you have so many options. You have so many brushes and it can be really overwhelming. So sometimes 
keeping it simple uh, will draw your attention to other things like the composition the the color balancing and stuff like that I can't say all too much about this stuff because again I am still getting used to this new way of drawing yeah you have your kitty claws awesome <laughs> I hope she's behaving I think it's pretty good advice. I get quite overwhelmed by all the digital art tools. Yeah, it can be very overwhelming if you're especially just starting. Oh, kitty moved. So we also move. Observed at all times. <laughs> Kitty claws. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have some pets too? Flip? I think I never asked you that on stream. Oh yeah, this song actually re reminds me that I have added a new song to this playlist here because I finally finished the song that I made. Kind of in this style, in this kind of retro wave style. So after this song I might uh, just start that new song to show it off. I mean... Don't expect too much. <laughs> it's certainly not that great. But it's something I made and so it feels special to me. So Not right now, I'm hoping to get a dog eventually. Oh, nice. A Greyhound or a Whippet? A Whippet. I have to look that up. I'm not very educated with the dog breeds. Ah, I see. Very cute. A greyhound in comparison. Ah, okay. I see, so the more like, I guess, the kind of dogs that are normally used in dog raising, I suppose. They have like a very slender and dynamic looking um, and <gasps> anatomy. I'm sorry. Burpee. Yeah, as I saw that just now. The Whippet is kind of like a Greyhound, but, but smaller. They're in the same family of breeds. Oh yeah. I like the retro wi video game remixes. They are a good vibe for sure. <laughs> Yeah, also, by the way, if you like any music that you're hearing right now, uh, all of the artists are awesome and you should definitely check them out. Uh, you can see their names in the, in the tracker at the top of the stream. And you can also go ahead and write the name that you're seeing in the tracker as a command into the chat by, for example, exclamation mark, insane in the rain music. 
and then you will get a short description and a link to their stuff their youtube channel their band camp or something like that so i motivate you to check them out and that would be a way to do so <clears throat> but yeah any music you put on i'm sure you will enjoy <laughs> all right I hope that will be that will be the case. to spend all that much more time on this one I just want to maybe improve the berries to kind of make them stand out more it's just some white reflections But that will be basically it, and I want to move on to the next drawing. So you can give me your ideas. And that's just how it goes. Sometimes the drawings are gonna be not that great, and sometimes they're gonna be quite interesting, depending on what color palettes I get and what ideas I come up with. So... Uh, I just noticed while copying the color palette to my device, the third color is the gray has 101 in red, <laughs> green and blue. <laughs> Fun observation. Uh, interesting. <laughs> uh, gotta go make some dinner, but enjoy the rest of the scene. Thank you very much. And also thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. That you came by. I also am glad that you came by. And see you another time. Alright, so I would say this is done. It turned out okay, I would say. It's not all this. I'm not all too happy with it, but that's just how it goes. So, now. I would like to get some ideas from you. Give me some keywords for the randomizer. And if you're lucky, you will get picked. So it can be anything. Whatever it is, like but maybe don't give me actual colors like here in this example orange that is a bit uh a bit boring i would say uh oh, volume okay interesting so i have this other website here i'm just gonna type in volume have rows mm -hmm. You can also give me several ideas if you want to, but don't uh, like don't start to spam. Looks so at most like three different ideas, maybe. Lily, all right. A bunch of flowers, I see. Mm -hmm. 
What's the kitty doing? Yeah. Maybe switch over to the kitty can. While people come up with ideas, hmm? What are you doing, huh? Uh, let me sit down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how dare I touch you? You have to immediately clean yourself. <laughs> got Mirage, interesting, and Garden. Alright, I would say I cut it at this point and let's see. Just click here, random choice and we got Lily. Alright, that was from Cat, congratulations. <laughs> and so I just type in Lily over here and well wait i also need to make sure that i have the right setting i for now i just want to have complementary color sets and then search all right interesting hmm well the palette that stands out the most is definitely number one it has the best contrast. Um, the colors of 2 and 3 are kind of boring. To be honest, they're very grayish and dark for the most part. Yeah, so it's definitely gonna be number one. The YouTube chat is slow tonight. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, did I. It should be. However, on low latency, yeah, but still a little pretty slow. Hmm. How is the latency on the Twitch side, by the way? I do have low latency turned on. However, um, because I'm using Restream to stream to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time, um, there is some extra delay because I have to send the data to restream it first and then it goes from there to Twitch and YouTube. So there's a bit of an extra delay. Um, and yeah, let's see. So I'm definitely gonna take this one. This is pretty certain. I'm gonna save it and give you the link. Right here. Alright. I'm going to... Call this berry forest. Not forced, but forest, please. <laughs> Alright. And import the palette that I just downloaded. And there we go. So we definitely have a lot of green in here. And other than that, it's just basically gray. If we take a closer look, yeah, it's green, 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 only green. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try one. All right, as I said, if you 
have something to share then you can post it on discord in the new channel stream pictures and i can show it off during the stream just let me know if it actually works i'm not so sure about the channel settings if they work actually you can't oh that's that's too bad you mean you can't draw along or you cannot you would not be able to post a picture got ah, ah, i see oh yeah that makes sense of course got to get ready um well my ipad is back up so i'm ready for a palette as well that's awesome okay so need to think of an idea myself now so we have a lot of green and some gray. I don't want to have something plant related because it is just too obvious. <sighs> Sorry. Hmm. hmm. Things that are green. Green car? Sure. While doing these streams, I come up with my own ideas. And if you have an idea, then you can <clears throat> use that idea for your own artwork and show it off. That would be awesome. Um, but I think I have an idea, a very weird one. <laughs> because of the music, the, f uh, the previous track. Oh, yeah, by the way. Um, if you want to hear the new track that I made, I'm gonna start it right here. For some reason it's much more silent than the other tracks, I need to fix that, but yeah. Um, so I do have an idea, I will look up one reference. So I'm also allowed to use references, by the way. It's, that's a normal tool for artists to use. All right. I'm not gonna say right away what it's gonna be. You will see, you will see. Sometimes I start with the background, but sometimes I just want to draw the actual thing and add background later. Also depends on what kind of colors I have. Well, gotta find an idea then. <laughs> Alright. I think you can, you can come up with something interesting. So, hmm... Hmm. 
so I am actually making it a bit leaf based but there is gonna be a catch I hope you liked the track although it was a bit quiet I need to make it louder at some point Kind of have troubles getting a nice shape. Alright. Oh no, it is a bit too tall. was cool I'm glad to hear that I'm glad you liked it Another challenge of this is that I don't really use sketches, I'm just straight up drawing stuff. Which is another challenge for me because I heavily rely on sketches all the time. Whenever I stop patting my cat, she just looks at me like, how dare you stop patting me? <laughs> I mean, she has a point. How dare you? Is it like Yoshi surfing on Leaf or Pokemon? Hmm, with one of those you're pretty close. You're extremely close actually.
Looks like a Pokemon type thing. I haven't played Pokemon in years, so uh, these will be harder. <laughs> I mean, you are actually pretty correct, it is. <laughs> So this is supposed to be some kind of leaf type Pikachu. <laughs> Let's move it over here more. Not exactly sure how I want to do the tail. It's like a mix between Alolan Raichu and Shikarita. Uh -huh. hmm. Alolan Raichu is surfing on the broad uh, tip of its own tail. Oh, that would be actually an idea. But, uh, I will I'll keep it like this. <laughs> and yes. So I'm subtracting a little bit from this side here. Speaking of Pokemon, to talk about some of the news. So recently um, there was a Nintendo Direct, at least a Nintendo Partner Direct, however they call it. And there was quite some interesting stuff in there. It was a lot of Monster Hunter. And I do love Monster Hunter, so that was especially exciting for me. The games that they announced uh, was it Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter Stories 2? Seem interesting. I would like to check them out. Hmm. 
and also there was Rune Factory 5 that they announced. That also seems pretty interesting to me. I love me some farming games. <laughs> it's always, always nice, always chill to play. And I like the Rune Factory series. It's basically Harvest Moon but with RPG elements to them. And I played, um, I played some Rune Factory games on the Wii, if I remember. Were there some other titles? A GameCube title? I don't quite remember. BRB? Alright. At the background now. Let's just simply take this color here. Is there? Oh yeah, that was Undertale fifth anniversary. I talked about it uh, during the gaming stream a little. It's very exciting. Uh, I'm a huge Undertale. If you haven't noticed yet, uh, I'm a huge Undertale. I'm a huge Undertale fan. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been quite a while ever since I did the tutorials of Papyrus, Sands, and. Flowey. Looking back, ugh, it's a bit cringy, I do have to say. But oh well, those were my beginnings, and it's alright. I don't know what kind of shape I want to give the the background. 
That's a pretty leafy Pikachu. That's right. <laughs> pretty leafy indeed. Um... That's good enough for background, it doesn't matter all that much. the wrong layer.
is too strong. Reflections here, or there? Nah, it's fine. I'm not gonna give it any shading or something like that, that would be too much work. Although I could, but I don't have the best colors for that purpose. this Alright, the shading doesn't look all too bad, actually.
Oh god, they give this also some shading. I mean, I guess it works. All right, let's not use all that much time on this one drawing. I would say we can call it done. So a leaf Pikachu riding, surfing on a leaf. Oh wait, actually I can give a little bit extra here. Ah, I'll just leave it out, okay. Leaf Pikachu right surfing on the leaf. Kind of a weird idea for sure, but well That's what I came up with because simply uh, there was a Pokemon track running and so Yeah, Pokemon, Pikachu of course, and there was green so there's the connection. <laughs> All right, so this is finished now. We are going to move on to the next pick. So let's see. All right, so that was Lily. Lily gave us this color palette and ultimately also this idea. So what is going to be the next one? If you have some kind of keyword that you would like to submit, please feel free to do so. I'm going to remove this one. We're going to reset it every single time. In case you have some other ideas. And so... What are some keywords that you would like to see some color palettes of? Again... It doesn't have to be only one word, it can be several words in a row with spaces in between. Gonna go with volume again <laughs> and tabby. All right. Volume. Tabby. So I'm gonna wait a little bit um, in case somebody comes up with something it's kitty time again. Ecstatic fortune. Well, I only give you three at most, as I said. So, one of these. Ecstatic or fortune. 
And meanwhile, I sit down next to Boko. Hey there. <laughs> she really likes this. Uh, how would I call it? Some kind of cardboard seat? I don't know. It is very rough. It is very scratchy. It feels very scratchy. For some reason, she really loves it. Do you normally think that cats like the soft surfaces, soft cushions, pillows, that sort of thing. But no, she really loves this. I mean, it's good for, for scratching, scratching her claws. She does that too. But she also likes to just lie on it and sleep. Which is alright, and I'll just put it over here. Uh -huh. Hey, sweepy. Little pause. <laughs> hey, little boo. Oh, Donny baby. You cuddly. It's a cuddly boo. I'm gonna do the next drawing while sitting because I definitely can feel some pain in the feet, in the soles in particular. Just finished doing the dishes, alright. Welcome back cat. Doing a little break. So Kat, if you have some suggestions for keywords, then feel free to let me know. We're collecting some right now for the next drawing. Sleepy. Makes me happy. Butterfly sounds good. She has such a cute face, indeed she does. A lot of people say that she looks kind of mean or angry, but she isn't angry at all. I mean, I, except for when she is. <laughs> she can be angry too, of course. I would say she has a pretty face. Beautiful face. Oh! Standing up? Where are you going? Where are you going? Hmm? You're in cuddle mode. Boo boo boo. Hmm? What are you doing, huh? Don't show everybody your butt, huh? Oh, boo boo. Hmm? 
little bit grumpy looking and pretty cute. Yes, a little bit grumpy looking. But you can see past that, especially when you're used to her face. I don't think that she's grumpy looking at all anymore. She's so excited! All right, let's get back to it. So Back to your seat, all right. <laughs> ah, good enough. <laughs> All right. So we had fortune. Butterfly. No, that was it. All right. Let's go for random choice, and we have fortune. Interesting word. Let's see what this is gonna be. Uh, keyword winter. Uh, that was a little bit too late. Sorry, but maybe next time. Fortune. All right. So again, I only want complementary colors. And let's go. Oh. That's very gray. That is way too gray. The reference palette is just gray. Let's regenerate, let's see. Okay, we have one that has some red in it, I can work with that, I suppose. But if it's just gray, then I have to re-roll. But okay, we have this here. I wonder why fortune is supposed to be all gray, though. It's interesting, I suppose. Switch over. Let's lower everything. The handle of of the the, the curb, however you call it, is already getting squeaky. And I tried to um, put in some oil, but the problem is. There is no, not really any gap where I can put in the oil, so I yeah, have that problem now, which is, it's fine, it's not that big of a deal, it's just a bit squeaky when I turn it. Alright. Let me color palette one would do a hairless cat and make it have a black coat. Okay. Well, I'm definitely gonna go for two because it has actual colors. <laughs> Color palette one has a bit of a light, very light and grayish pink, but that's about it. I'm gonna go for two. So, gonna export it, save it, open the palette. And I give you the link. And there we go. So 
So let's think. Everything froze? Oh no. It's okay now. Alright, good. So this is gonna be called Leaf Pikachu. And we're moving on to the next one. Fortune. Let's see. Now I need to come up with an idea. Hmm. So we have some reds. And greys. All of these colors are on the red spectrum. The leaf Pikachu looks nice. Thank you. <laughs> Hmm. Red and grey. There's a lot possible with this. Hmm. And again, if you have some idea can draw along. Hmm. That'd be good. I would like to make a drawing that is actually not really related to the color red. But it's just simply painted in that color. Also, we have this kind of like very light gray I have to keep in mind. You already know what you will do? Alright. Yeah, I know you can draw, but you also have the option to draw something later doesn't have to be necessarily now so if you draw something later and you want to show it off you can do so again also in the discord channel a bush slash tree that has the dark branches and pink purple leaves. Oh. Interesting. Bush has similar colors as the color palette. Oh. That would be perfect. Some idea. Let's see how I will do it. Hmm. First up, there will be the background. This time it's gonna be just 
kind of box. Shape like this. Do it like this. There's nothing that prohibits me from using some digital art tricks. Quite as clean as I would like to, so I'm gonna revert this real quick. The problem with this texturized pen, uh, pen uh, brush is that when I fill it out. And I don't have like a huge color margin, then, as you can, like, to give you an example, then it has this kind of fragments at the border and it doesn't look good. So, now again, I'm gonna copy it, color this one the other color. Thinking about it, a box with dark chocolate with pink little hearts on it could work. Or a chocolate bar with red pink wrapping. Those are some interesting ideas too. Mm -hmm. Definitely very interesting. Everything went quiet, my thing is glitching out a lot early through three times through. Oh boy, that doesn't sound good. Hmm. Now <clears throat> the thing that I wonder is since I activated low latency on Twitch, it could be because of that. That you have some more issues. Well, are your well are your problems just basically glitching out, or is it also buffering a lot, like freezing, like it's it's not loading when you have the loading thingy? 
Because if it's buffering a lot, then it could be because I have low latency on. If it's just random glitch and glitching out and stuff, then I can't really do much. Then it's probably a cr uh, the computer I I would imagine. I might leave and get back on it, it's really glitchy. Alright. Yeah, maybe some uh, reloading will help. Oh, with that color palette, a house could work. A red brick house with a brown roof. Yeah, that also could work. Uh, could work for sure. It's a good idea. gonna be challenging because I normally don't draw this without any kind of sketching so we'll see Now I see I want to have the straps further apart, for sure. Alright, it's working better now? That's good. And the same frame has been on. Mm, yeah. I suppose you just needed to reload the page. Guess what is cool? Yesterday I made a cat tree with cat, three cats 
uh, for my knees and four decorated pencils. A cat clinging to one, two flower pencils and a stick pencil for my sister. Ah, okay. Like, uh, cat tree. You probably don't mean the like the cat trees where the cats scratch on, but like some kind of little sculpture. And some pencils, some decorative pencils. This sounds very nice. Not a big one, just a toy one, I see. <laughs> and I'm off with air dry clay. Oh that's nice. That's really cool. I'm I'm certain that your niece and sister will be happy. Cute cat. <laughs> Thank you. Good to know that it's recognizable as a cat. The chair is moving. You're just gonna, you're, you're just gonna jump. <sighs> Little boo. Cut. Hmm. There we go. First you jumped on the couch, and then from there you can jump safely on the chair. Hmm? Mm 
So distracting for cuteness. Yes, it is going to be two cats. And yes, I I love having a kitty cam. <laughs> it makes it even more fun for me. And I hope for the viewers too. <laughs> Smooth burpee again. And so this other cat is supposed to hang down from this platform, you could say. Uh, which is a more complicated pose for sure. But let's see how it will do. Or maybe it's lying on top of it and it's just like reaching the head down. Hmm. But it, that would be even harder to illustrate us, I think. Like, kind of lying like this with the, with the legs sprawled out and like one leg is hanging down like so. That could actually work, yeah, okay. Let's see how I'm gonna I'm going to draw this though. For that I think it's a bit further up. Everything freezing again, oh boy. Sure seem to have a lot of issues. I mean maybe YouTube would work better for you, I don't know. I don't know if you had issues on YouTube, watching streams on YouTube. I'd have to go to YouTube and check if it's okay, yeah. Um, let's see. 
Oh, I need to change a command. I'm gonna do this real quick. Do, 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 do. Because I don't have the right link. Turned out to be not the one that I need. Type in this dream. So. Maybe this works better. I hope so for sure. Weird. I was looking and couldn't find the stream on YouTube. That's the thing. Yeah, um, as I said, I, I, maybe you weren't here. Uh, I am streaming to a different YouTube channel right now because um, I might completely move my, my the YouTube side of the stream to that channel um, to the stream to a new stream channel. Because um, I have seen that a lot of people have been unsubscribing uh, because of my streams. In particular, they have they have been unsubscribing on the videos of the past streams, and I'm also said um, um, like suspecting that also a lot of people are turning off notifications. <clears throat> uh, you're on YouTube? Alright. Yeah. So a lot of people are probably also turning off notifications, so they are not spammed with all of the stream notifications that they're actually not really interested in. People are primarily subscribing to my YouTube channel because of tutorials and other stuff, like, like those kind of videos and not the streams. They are not interested in that and I can understand that. And that they don't want to watch that sort of thing um, and so even though I have less viewers now um, it still might be better this way um, so I don't lose too many subscribers all the time and also Also, if I'm on a different channel, then I feel more free to do whatever I want. Um, like I can stream however often I want to and don't have to worry about spamming anybody because whoever is following me, like is subscribed to me on that YouTube channel, on the stream YouTube channel, they are there for the streams, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh. Well, thank you, Cat. I appreciate that you say that, but again, people have different tastes, different interests, and so I definitely um, say that my streams are not for everybody. They might be 
like my streams might be too boring or I might be too awkward for them because I'm not really good at talking and stuff, you know. I might not be entertaining enough. I don't know. It could be all sorts of reasons. And they're fine, they're valid reasons. It's not like I'm criticizing their taste. Um. But yeah. Um. So another leg should be sprawled out, like stretched out like that, but I don't. I'm running out of space, that's the problem. So I, I might need to just move the kitties a little bit. so sure if this actually is recognizable as its leg. Now it looks more like a weird tail. So, uh, maybe not. But there will be a tail for sure. It's just hanging down to maybe on the other side actually. You thought it was a tail? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oko, why are you meowing? Meow! <laughs> what is it? I'm paying too much attention to those two cats, huh? That's not okay. You can see her. Floppy her then, hmm? There we go. <laughs> Oh, you little boo. Stomping around. The little butt. Meow meow. Wow. I'm purring like crazy. <sighs> All right, then. something about how someone heard their cat meowing so they meowed back but then they later learned that their dad does the same thing and they were just meowing at each other <laughs> oh well <laughs> in different parts of the house yeah <laughs> that's silly ah the stream pictures channel is read only uh, yeah, but uh, did you try posting a picture? Because that, that was the thing that I am, was not so sure about because I was activating the, uh, the option for posting media or something like that Because I would like to have this this channel for pictures only 
and so nobody's writing into it just uh, posting pictures so i have to at uh, yeah, attach files and i wasn't really sure what that meant and if that means that you can upload pictures or not uh you can post a picture in discord or tweet it yeah i mean i think that's not what she means but the particular stream pictures channel and that you cannot post in it it's read only I would try it myself, but I'm the owner of my of my own Discord server, so of course I can I can post in it and write in it because I can do whatever I want. <laughs> um, so yeah, I need the feedback from from you guys. And attaching files means like just some kind of like normal file, like a. Word document or stuff like that. Well, I can't write or send media of any kind. Okay. Well, thank you for the feedback. That is good to know. Then I will activate the send messages again. Um, and I will just simply say, please limit it on uh, like only post pictures and don't write into it and hope that everybody is gonna follow that and there we go save changes now it should be possible it should be please let me know and there's my song again Yay. I mean, all in all, I'm pretty content with how it turned out, the, the song, I mean. But, you know, it was the first time I tried it in this way and like this kind of style and I'm not really a, a, a composer. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Pretty cool. Um... Let me see... Well, for today, I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah, Cat immediately <laughs> wrote something. And that's what I want to avoid. I don't want people to write into into the, the channel, but just post pictures. Even though it's very nice that you compliment it. But how I want to... Um, organize it is that I want to show straight up the discord channel on the stream and if there are a bunch of messages also shown then it's kind of like um, making it a little a bit less organized it's fine but uh, it doesn't matter but as i said for now i'm just gonna open the picture save it So, this is what Quiet Leap has drawn. Ah, it has transparency. Okay, I see. Um, then let's do it like this. So that... There we go. <laughs> With the previous color palette that I drew the, the leaf Pikachu in, and she drew a snack, a very handsome looking snack. <laughs> very nice, I like it a lot. <laughs> Did a great job. Should be possible to write in the channel description that it's not allowed to write there or the pin a message here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I didn't really have time to test anything or write something because I made that channel right before I started streaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I should have done a couple of things earlier, but oh well. 
still pretty terrible at my time management for my streams. Also, Poco apparently has calmed down, but she's still purring. When you see her breathing so so um, rapidly like that, then it means that she's purring. <laughs> So happy, so happy, so happy. <laughs> yeah, really nice. Also, thank you a lot for sharing. It's very interesting to see what other people came up with. And snack around the rock. Awesome. Ah yes, I sure do love my snack to have a monocle, eyebrows and a mustache. I mean, sure, who, who doesn't? The long snake, yes. <laughs> Quite long. Alright, so let's get back to the kitties. looks all right kind of looks like lying on top of this thing and if I add let's make it like so to indicate this other paw I do have to say, I quite like this picture. Turn nicer? Turn out nicer than expected. I imagined that I would have a lot of problems getting 
the poses of these cats right because you know I'm not doing any sketches or something but um, looks okay looks decent about adding this white outline so the black kid is better distinguishable there's a lot of fragments over here oh god It's a very sweet drawing for this palette. I should probably go to bed, uh, but I will be staying for a little while. <laughs> Alright. Well, don't overdo it, don't stay up too late and get tired next day. Let us know when you eventually do go to bed, so we can say good night.
Not so sure about this white outlining, however. I kind of actually prefer it without. The contrast isn't all that strong, but I would say even even if you look at this picture it's small, you can still kind of see that there is a black cat. I mean, especially about the black cat, I worry, but it seems all right. Seems distinguishable enough. So the the question is, what do I do with this this light gray? I might just end up doing nothing with it. I mean. I would say it's okay if I even if I don't use a color. Why not? I just can't add more colors all willy nilly, but not using one that is fine. I would say at least. Nothing exciting, better than bad, yeah I agree, it's better than having a bad day for sure. And this is pretty much how my days go, it's just nothing exciting, nothing exciting. The usual. That's alright. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. I mean, maybe the paw here is a bit too thick. Give the cat's eyes and do something more with the background lines, like adding some extra green gray lines over here. There. Uh, I don't really want to give them eyes. I like this kind of silhouette style. Uh, yeah, I could add something to the background, but you know what? I'm just gonna, you know, the point is also to keep things fairly simple. And so. I'm just gonna call it, not spend that much more time on it, because it already looks alright, at least in my opinion. And we will move on to the next one. Um, I hate curly hair, it hurts so much brushing my hair. Uh, yeah, that certainly sounds annoying. Well then, alright. Hope you thought of some new keywords. Although it's fine if you use if you suggest the ones that you already suggested. But either way. Let us go over here. Oh, what I've what I could have done would have been something else to show the picture. Well whatever. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. So, what are your keyword suggestions? Please let me know. Um, that might be the last drawing that I do today. Maybe, maybe I will do it depending on how the next drawing will go and in general how much energy I feel I have left. Um, also, while you think of some suggestions, some keyboard suggestions and write them in the chat, I will do a short break and I will be right back. 
Um, for the break, I actually can just leave it on Hoko, why not? Uh, do, 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 do. There we go, but I'm going to mute the mic. So we'll be right back. All right, I'm back. All right, I can see a couple of suggestions already. Three of each. I'm gonna switch over to standing mode. At least, if the curb is squeaking, I don't hear it that loudly with my headphones on. Oh, there is that. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so let's type it all into... Here. Okay, so you said volume again, so I'm gonna leave it over here. Um, vibrance, that's probably gonna give us some interesting colors. Still white, also. Then we have winter, ocean, it's probably gonna be a lot of blue, <laughs> and spring. That's interesting. Okay, so there's that, and let's see which keyword is gonna be the winner. We have volume. All right, let's see how <laughs> how this is gonna be. Okay, volume. We have the right setting, so let's see. Oh, interesting colors. Huh. We have the reference palette, which is very colorful, and then all sorts of different colors. Huh. This, the second one has two greens that are really similar to each other, so... Oh god, that's... I'm not gonna go for number two. So either one or three. Three is definitely very colorful, and the number one is more tame. 
3 somehow reminds me of a lot of different ice cream colors, except for the fifth color. <laughs> that I wouldn't want to eat ice cream in that color. <laughs> hmm. Which one is it gonna be? Well, let's take a look. So far, we... No, the first picture was very varied in the, in the in terms of colors, but um, the first picture wasn't very good in contrast between the colors. They were like, like too far apart in terms of uh, brightness, I think. And like it wasn't really looking all too well, but the third palette although it's like very colorful the the colors are very easily distinguishable from from each other i think so i could work with that although i don't really know what to do with number five like the the, the fifth color of number three hmm. I mean, one three is really nice how about three i wonder what you could come up with yes it would be interesting yeah, the more colorful, like the more, the more different the, the the colors are from each other, I think it's even more challenging. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go for number three, and let's see. So download, save, open the palette, copy the link, close it in chat. There you go. All right. So, this was the last one. This one is very mellow in, in terms of colors, for sure. These cats, I really like it. So far, this has been the fa my favorite from today. Uh, let's see. What do I call this? Just cats hanging out. I don't know. I don't care all too much about the, the the titles. So and import volume. Certainly not something that I would have expected from the word volume. <laughs> I might join as well. I have two hours until the birthday party. Oh, okay. Is it get getting delayed further and further? Well, I guess good for me. <laughs> so you can hang out longer. I am certainly not complaining about that. The two cats are really cute. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Alright. So... Now I need to think. Hmm. I might go with the first idea that I already had. Let's see.
me just test these colors real quick. Let's see how they look next to each other. question is what do I do with this it's not even a green it's just a dark yellow and it looks very muddy I don't exactly know what to do with it huh. now these colors are also kind of like reminding me of a hot dog uh, you know, the bun, sausage, and you can, could have like some kind of like spices on them or something like that, but yeah. Th 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 then again, it's like too obvious, you know, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm trying to, I want to use the colors in a non-obvious way. Like, use the colors in a way that you normally don't see whatever I'm drawing in. Uh, you're not really seeing that in those kind of colors, you know. Uh, I don't know how to describe this. What do I do with this muddy color? Alright, you're back. What was the word? Oh, it was your word, volume. And this is the color palette that we got. Very colorful. So, certainly not what I would have expected from that word, but it's cool. But I have some problems thinking of something to draw. something about recycling a weird idea but Well, you were missing colors in the last one. Here's your colors. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how to make it work with the theme recycling. So, hmm, something else maybe. Hmm. I 
I do have some idea actually, no? Something very different. Let's see. <laughs> Got a loaf, yes. <laughs> Big fluffy loaf. He's so comfortable. Settles into a rule instead. <laughs> he has many different forms. And all of them are adorable. Does that look alright? I don't know. Looks somewhat okay in terms of perspective, I suppose. We got a box, this is very interesting indeed. Let's see what it becomes. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. It's hard to get the perspective right and stuff. Oh my god. Not having any rulers surely is a challenge.
Yeah, just enter the room and she's jumping onto everything and get to my hide and demand pads. As cuts as cats do. Yeah yeah. She also like she got used to always jumping on that chair and demanding pads whenever I'm standing in front of my desk and trying to work. And well, she's very successful with that strategy, I do have to say. <laughs> Works every time. Getting them pets. Definitely gonna look a bit wonky, but that's okay. It's definitely an interesting challenge to draw something so geometrical with the tools I have. She's taking my chair. I can't sit. Oh no. What are you gonna do? I'm going to move the stream to my phone. <laughs> Alright. The cat has occupied everything now. I need to adjust. doesn't look all the great but it's okay well we'll do it like this better with the yellow.
that. <laughs> All right. The setting fine line to watch. <laughs> it's good. Uh, let's just look the rest and it's a lot different than mine. I mean, that's good. Uh, it's it's very interesting to see very different ideas. And see how you came up with with yours. People dif uh, think differently. And it's interesting. Thank you, cat. It still takes a while. Oops, that was the wrong layer.
And she's laying on the floor staring at me and occasionally cleaning her fur. Oh. Yeah, no. As you can also see, I'm trying to go for a style that doesn't require outlining, at least for the most part, but I'm just painting shapes and adjusting the shapes, and it's also a kind of a style that I want to get used to more. And, the, and this kind of challenge is uh, really well suited for that purpose.
To think of it, it kind of looks like a tongue in this bridge. <laughs> well, why not? Exactly was what I was thinking the box has the tongue. <laughs> yeah. Well even include this line here to make, make it extra obvious.
the new picture. Ooh. Excited. Oh, interesting. So what we can do... Let's just use this here and I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller so it fits into the picture. Let's do it like this. Interesting. A bunch of flowers and the bees. Oh, nice. So you use the gray as the outlining color. And you even use the, the green, which is very dark for the stripes of the bee. It also works. Very nice. Cool. Thank you for sharing. draw better than the one posted yeah I mean I can also technically draw better than these drawings here that's it's not the point to make super good looking pictures but again to challenge yourself and uh, think in different ways use different tools and make pictures also fairly quickly you don't spend too much time on them Let's add a bit more decoration. 
And then I would say we're done. I could even go ahead and, you know, draw some teeth. <laughs> let's let's exaggerate it even more, shall we? It looks even weirder. <laughs> oh boy. Even I don't even know what I'm going for right now. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Yes, I demand eyebrows and eyes, or perhaps a mustache. Oh, a mustache is a good idea. Hmm. But how am I gonna do this? Well, the front is not supposed to have any of this this mud color. It's supposed to look good and fancy and stuff, you know. So I'm not gonna use it. Hmm. <laughs> This is getting sillier and sillier. This even, oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. The parts of throwing the stuff out kinda look like legs to me. Oh yeah, could be. Made a box monster. <laughs> well it was supposed to be kind of monstrous in a way, but I didn't think <laughs> it would turn out this way it just it's just started with the bridge looking kind of like a tongue and then it all went downwards from there <laughs> oh boy <laughs> uh yeah let's maybe well i can add a tiny little bit detail over here
It's quick to do. In order to indicate some kind of water or in this case some kind of unidentifiable fluid you can just draw these very simple ripple shapes at the edge of the lake pond whatever it is It looks much more like some actual fluid. There we go. I think we're done. <laughs> we're done with this monster. <laughs> uh, well, let me just fix a little bit of this signboard. All right. Oh boy. Oh dear. What have we created? This was the word volume. Well, this picture surely is loud. <laughs> Wouldn't you say so? Oh man. Ah, that was certainly an interesting set. Uh, how do I call it uh, even? Hmm. I'm gonna call it Loud Pollution. There we go. Uh, well, <clears throat> I came up with this idea um, because I was mainly thinking about this muddy, well it's actually yellow, um, this mud color that looks like green but it's actually like I can prove it there, you can see the color wheel, it's in the yellow range, but it's weird, somehow this dark Less saturated um, yellow looks like green to us. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking about that and I was thinking about like, uh, some, some, something grody, maybe some kind of mud or like some kind of polluted water. And then the other colors were very, very colorful, so how do I combine it? So, uh, so then maybe some kind of building that looks very fancy at the front but causes a lot of pollution at the back you know uh, almost kind of like some kind of art piece criticizing society kind of thing I don't know <laughs> and so I wanted to have some kind of building that looks like a casino at the front and then it ended up being that I don't know if it's ever if it's really gonna be interpreted as a casino, and it's just I suppose it's just some box monster now. <laughs> Perfect title. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Looks cool. Thank you. It's something. It's something. Well. The kid made a stretch. Did you make it stretchy? Ooh, stretchy boo. <laughs> How are you doing? Ooh, just now. Well, that was fun. Let's go through the pictures once more. We have four and 
I did plan to make four at least, so they're not good. Um, and also we streamed for five hours. Although it took me a while at the beginning, so... Yeah, one drawing for each hour, a bit more than an hour. With me talking a lot and having breaks in between, but pretty good actually. So, we started with this here. With this drawing. I'm not really happy with this one. Um, simply because of the color of the bushes. It doesn't go very well with the color of the trees. So, hmm. but just looking at the trees, it looks kind of all right. And that was the keyword Hoko. The name of my cat. Oh, the cat is gone. <laughs> You're protesting. This is not looking like you, huh? Oh, there you are. I'm just over here. Place it like this this time. Um, real up close. Just don't play with the camera, okay? Just leave it alone. It's just standing there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the trees. That's <laughs> that's good to know. Yeah, the trees are right. It's just the bushes are weird. Doesn't didn't really work out too well. Should have done something different but it's okay and then we had this one here the keyword lily and i came up with some kind of leaf pikachu <laughs> it's also kind of interesting and also pretty straightforward and then we had the keyword fortune and I came up with this very mellow and kind of like calm looking picture with just some two kitties hanging out. I not like this one a lot. It's still my favorite of all the four. Although it's very simple but you know sometimes simple is enough. Simple is enough. I kind of like the composition too, as a like there is this um, negative space around here when you have this. How do you call it? The rule of thirds or something like that? I don't know. I really should learn more about composition. <sighs> well. um, and the fourth one that we just did was this one here. Oh my god! <laughs> This transition from this like really calm and peaceful picture and then all of a sudden <laughs> Oh my god That is some contrast <laughs> Ugh, What have I created? Oh boy Yeah, and that was the keyword volume Kind of fits it well <laughs> Your favorite is also the, the two cats? Yeah, I like them too. Behold the box monster. It will consume and it will never stop consuming. <laughs> well, well, I'm gonna post this picture too on, on Twitter and stuff. So you can check them out over there too. Um, does any one of you still, uh, is any of you still drawing one of the pictures with the palettes? Are you making a drawing too? Because I can wait a little bit until you're done and then I can show it off on stream, but if you're not working on it or um, if it's still gonna take a while then that's fine and can be shown another time. But yeah, other than that, um, we are pretty much done for today. It was a fun stream. Um, we got raided today, which was the first raid that I received ever by Plipsus. Again, 
I highly recommend that you check out her streams. It's it's very chill and very delightful. I like hanging out at her streams a lot. So yeah, give it give her a try. Yeah, she does, as her name suggests, a lot of sewing. But she also plays some games like Sims. It's pretty neat. Oh kitty goes away. Okay. She goes outside, I suppose. Yeah. Oh well. <sighs> nope, you're ready to bury your head in the pillow. Okay, that sounds good. Alright, that was certainly interesting. Neat little experiment and it turned out to be a lot of fun. Was I was definitely looking forward to this stream and doing this uh, color palette randomizer stuff and yeah, I'm glad I did. There will be more of those kind of streams for sure. So, um, yeah, in case you are not on Discord yet, I invite you to join the Discord server where you can hang out with other people and, you know, as shown today, you can also draw stuff and uh, it can be shown during the stream. So something that's related to the stream, like this stuff here. But also I'm planning on using this uh, new channel on the Discord server for people who want to show off um, fan art, just general fan art, or drawings that have been drawn with the help of my tutorials. So you can also post that stuff on that channel and I will show it off during the stream and everybody can enjoy your art. I think that would be a lot of fun and you know some extra motivation for people to uh, to make art and that's always good uh, it's 11 p.m. yeah same here <laughs> uh, although I'm gonna stay awake for a couple of hours longer um, so yeah there's that if um, you like the streams and you want to watch more then you can follow on the, the YouTube channel and also on Twitch um, I recommend following me on Twitch because I'm definitely gonna keep on streaming on the Twitch side it's it's up in the air on the YouTube side at least uh, well for now I'm gonna stream still on YouTube but maybe in a couple of months this will change we'll see I will also make a small video about some about announcing some changes. Uh, what else is there? I mean, follow me on social media stuff, blah blah. You know, just the you know the thing. I mean, I can I can post it over here in case there is somebody else uh, during this here on the stream, uh, maybe lurking. No, Nightbot is not working on either side. What did I? No, I, I just typed it wrong. Socials. Pretty sure that was. The, yeah. I don't know my own commands. Alright, it worked on both sides. <laughs> Alright. Oh well. It's a bit chaotic. I'm still setting things up for the stream and then spending a lot of time on it but we're getting there and i'm having a lot of fun with it for sure it's really awesome that you know i have viewers on my stream that makes it way better than more than a year ago when i just streamed by myself and nobody was there to chat with <laughs> um hmm. You're gonna get ready for the birthday party, alright, I wish you a lot of fun, enjoy the per birthday party and I'm sure your sister and cousin will be very happy with the presents you've made. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be it. Next week there will be another gaming stream, I'm not exactly sure what I want to stream. 
uh, what kind of game or games plural um, I have gone through my how is it called Amazon gaming library or however it's called now they're keeping on changing the names um, and I have a lot of games in there because you get tons of games for free just you're shuffled you're getting buried under them uh, and also I checked out a lot of uh, lists of good itch.io games from this like huge bundle that was like what was it like over a thousand games or even more for just five bucks and of course I had to get this and so there are a lot of very good games in there too and I want to stream a bunch of these so it's a pleasure to keep you company <laughs> it's that's very nice of you. It's always a very, it's always a pleasure to have you here, too. S yeah. So we'll see what I'm gonna s stream, but probably I'm gonna check out some new games from my libraries. That's a lot of games. Yeah, that was crazy. That was like with the whole Black Lives Matter thing. Well, it's still going on, but when it just started to gain traction some months ago and then itch.io had this huge bundle and was awesome you know it's and of course i had to use the opportunity and you know the money is going to a good cause so yeah uh i have a couple of other ideas i would also like to play some retro games like old games from my childhood uh, you know, N64 games, uh, Game Boy games, th that kind of stuff, and maybe talk about some, st like, tell some stories of back then when I played these games and the memories associated with them. I think that would be also pretty neat. All right, I talked long enough. I my outros are always way too long, so yeah. We'll see. I'm gonna see you next time gaming stream probably on Wednesday maybe Thursday and yeah have a wonderful day slash night wherever you are and also thank you for hanging out with me I appreciate it a lot it makes the stream much more fun all right then bye bye <laughs>